Session 7, January 25th, 1981 I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of our infinite Creator. I communicate now. Question. You mentioned that there was a number of members of the Confederation of Planets. What avenues of service or types of service are available to the members of the Confederation? I am Ra. I am assuming that you intend the services which we of the Confederation can offer, rather than the services which is available to you our use. The service available for our offering to those who call us is equivalent to the square of the distortion need of that calling divided by, or integrated with, the basic law of one in its distortion, indicating the free will of those who are not aware of the unity of creation. Question. From this I am assuming that the difficulty that you have in contacting this planet at this time is the mixture of people here, some being aware of the unity and some not, and for this reason you cannot come openly or give proof of your contact. Is this correct? I am raw. As we have just repeated through this instrument, we must integrate all of the portions of your social memory complex in its illusory disintegration form. Then the product of this can be seen as the limit of our ability to serve. We are fortunate that the law of service squares the desire of those who call. Otherwise, we would have no beingness in this time-space at this present continuum of the illusion. In short, you are basically correct. The thought of not being able is not a part of our basic thought form complex toward your people, but rather it is a maximal consideration of what is possible. Question. By squared, do you mean that if ten people call, you can count that, when comparing it to the planetary ratio, as a hundred people, squaring ten and getting a hundred? I am raw. This is incorrect. The square is sequential. One, two, three, four, each squared by the next number. Question. If only ten entities on Earth required your services, how would you compute your calling by using this square method? I am raw. We would square one ten sequential times, raising the number to the tenth square. Question. What would be the result of this calculation? I am raw. The result is difficult to transmit. It is 1,012 approximately. The entities who call are sometimes not totally unified in their calling, and thus the squaring slightly less. Thus, there is a statistical loss over a period of call. However, perhaps you may see this by statistically corrected information, the squaring mechanism. Question. About how many entities at present on planet Earth are calling for your services? I am raw. I am called personally by 352,000. The Confederation, in its entire spectrum of entity complexes, is called by 632 million of your mind-body-spirit complexes. These numbers have been simplified. Question. Can you tell me what the results of the application of the law of squares is to these figures? I am raw. The number is approximately meaningless in the finite sense, as there are many, many digits. It, however, constitutes a great calling, which we of all creation feel and hear as if our own entities were distorted towards a great and overwhelming sorrow. It demands our service. Question. At what point would this calling be great enough for you to come openly among the people of Earth? How many entities on Earth would have to call the Confederation? I am raw. We do not calculate the possibility of coming among your people by the numbers of calling, but by a consensus among an entire societal memory complex, which has become aware of the infinite consciousness of all things. This has been possible among your people only in isolated instances. In the case where in a social memory complex, which is a servant of the Creator, sees the situation and has an idea for the appropriate aid, which can only be done among your people, the social memory complex desiring this project lays it before the Council of Saturn. If it is approved, quarantine is lifted. Question. I have a question about the Council. Who are the members and how does the Council function? I am raw. The members of the Council are representatives from the Confederation and from those vibratory levels of your inner planes bearing responsibility for your third density. The names are not important because there are no names. Your mind-body-spirit complexes request names and so in many cases 
the vibratory sound complexes which are consonant with the vibratory distortions of each entity are used. However, the name concept is not part of the council. If names are requested, we will attempt them. However, not all have chosen names. In number, the council that sits in constant session, though varying in its members by means of balancing, which takes place what you would call irregularly, is nine. That is the session council. To back up this council, there are 24 entities which offer their services requested. These entities faithfully watch and have been called guardians. The council operates by means of what you would call telepathic contact with the oneness or unity of the nine, the distortions blending harmoniously so that the law of one prevails with ease. When a need for thought is present, the council retains a distortion complex of this need, balancing it as described, and then recommends what it considers as an appropriate action. This includes, one, the duty of admitting social memory complexes to the Confederation, and two, offering aid to those who are unsure how to aid the social memory complex, requesting aid in a way consonant with both the call, the law, and the number of those calling. That is to say, sometimes the resistance of the call, and three, internal questions in the council are determined. These are the prominent duties of the council. They are, if in any doubt, able to contact the 24 who then offer consensus, judgment, thinking to the council. The council then may reconsider any question. Question. You mentioned the nine who sit in the council. Is this nine the same nine as those mentioned in this book? I am Ra. The council of nine has been retained in semi-undistorted form by two main sources, that known in your naming as Mark and that in your naming as Henry. In one case, the channel became the scribe. In the other, the channel was not the scribe. However, without the aid of the scribe, the energy would not have come to the channel. Question. The names that you spoke of, were they Mark Probert and Henry Purek? I am Ra. That is correct. Question. I am interested in the application of the Law of One as it pertains to free will with respect to what I would call the advertising done by UFO contacts of the planet Earth. The Council seems to have allowed the quarantine to be lifted many times over the past 30 years. This seems to me to be a form of advertising for what we are doing right now, so that more people will be awakened. Am I correct? I am raw. It will take a certain amount of untangling of conceptualization of your mental complex to reform your query into an appropriate response. Please bear with us. The Council of Saturn has not allowed the breaking of quarantine in the time-space continuum you mentioned. There is a certain amount of landing taking place. Some are of the entities known to you as the Group of Orion. Secondly, there is permission granted not to break quarantine by dwelling among you, but to appear in thought-form capacity for those who have eyes to see. Thirdly, you are correct in assuming that permission was granted at the time-space in which your first nuclear device was developed and used for consideration members to minister to your people in such a way as to cause my mystery to occur. This is what you mean by advertising and is correct. The mystery and unknown quality of the occurrences we are allowed to offer have the hope for intention of making your people aware of infinite possibility. When your peoples grasp infinity, then and only then, can the gateway be open to the law of one. Question. You said that Orion was the source of some of those contacts with UFOs. Can you tell me something of that contact, its purpose? I am Ra. Consider, if you will, a simple example of intentions which are bad good. This example is Adolf. This is your vibratory sound complex. The intention is to presumably unify by choosing a distortion complex called Elite from a social memory complex and then enslaving, by various effects, those who are seen by the distortion as not elite. There is then the concept of taking the social memory complex thus weeded and adding it to a distortion thought of by the so-called Orion group as an empire. The problem facing them is that they face a great deal of random energy released by the concept of separation. This causes them to be vulnerable as the distortions amongst their own members are not harmonized. Question. What is the density of the Orion group? I am raw. 
Like the Confederation, the densities of the mass consciousness which comprise that group are varied. There are a very few third density, a large number of fourth density, a similarly large number of fifth density, and a very few sixth density entities comprising this organization. Their numbers are perhaps one-tenth ours at any point in space-time continuum as the problem of spiritual entropy causes them to experience constant disintegration of their social memory complex. Their power is the same as ours. The law of one blinks neither at the light nor the darkness, but is available for service to others and service to self. However, service to others results in service to self, thus preserving and further harmonizing the distortions of those entities seeking intelligent infinity through these disciplines. Those seeking intelligent infinity through the use of service to self create the same amount of power, but, as we said, have constant difficulty because of the concept of separation, which is implicit in the manifestation of the service to self, which involve power over others. This weakens and eventually disintegrates the energy collected by such mind-body-spirit complexes who call the Orion group and the social memory complexes which comprise the Orion group. It should be noted, carefully pondered, and accepted that the law of one is available to any social memory complex which has decided to strive together for any seeking of purpose, be it service to others or service to self. The laws, which are the primal distortion of the law of one, then are placed in operation, and the illusions of space-time is used as a medium for the development of the results of those choices freely made. Thus all entities learn, no matter what they seek, all learn the same, some rapidly, some slowly. Question. Using an example, the fifth density concerning the social memory complex of the Orion group, what was their previous density before they became fifth density? I am raw. The progress through densities is sequential. A fifth dimensional social memory complex would be comprised of mind-body-spirit complexes harvested from fourth density, then the conglomerate or mass mind body spirit complex does its melding and the results are due to the in infinitely various possibilities of combinations or distortions. Question. I am trying to understand how a group such as the Orion group could progress. How it would be possible, if you were in the Orion group and pointed towards self service, to progress from the third density to the fourth? What learning would be necessary for this? I am raw. This is the last question of length for this instrument at this time. You will recall that we went into some detail as how these not oriented towards seeking service for others yet nevertheless found and could use the gateway to intelligent infinity. This is true of all densities in our octave. We cannot speak for those above us, as you would say, in the next quantum or octave of beingness. This is, however, true of this octave of density. The beans are harvested because they can see and enjoy the light love of the appropriate density. Those who have found this light love, love light without benefit of a desire for service to others, nevertheless, by the law of free will, have the right to the use of that light love for whatever purpose. Also it may be inserted that there are systems of study which enable the seeker of separation to gain these gateways. This study is as difficult as the one we have described to you but there are those with the perseverance to pursue the study, just as you desire to pursue the difficult path of seeking to know in order to serve. The distortion lies in the effect that those who seek to serve the self are seen by the law of one as precisely the same as those who seek to serve others, for are all not one. To serve yourself and to serve others is a dual method of saying the same thing, if you can understand the essence of the law of one. At this time, we would answer any brief question you may have. Question. Is there anything else we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? I am raw. There are small adjustments you may make. However, we are now able to use this instrument with minimal distortion and without depleting the instrument to any significant extent. Do you wish to ask further? Question. We do not wish to tire the instrument. Thank you very much. That was very helpful, and we would like to continue in the next session from this point. I am raw. I leave you in the love and light of the infinite Creator. Go forth then rejoicing in the power of the peace and the one Creator. Adonai. Session 8, January 26, 1981. 
I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Question. I have a question regarding what I call the advertising of the Confederation. It has to do with free will. There has been certain contacts allowed, as I understand, by the Confederation, but this is limited because of free will of those who are not oriented in such a way as to want contact. Many people on our planet want this material, but even though we disseminate it, many will not be aware that it is available. Is there any possibility of creating some effect which I would call advertising, or is this against the principle of free will? I am raw. Consider, if you will, the path of your life experience complex is taken. Consider the coincidence and odd circumstances by which one thing flowed to the next. Consider this well. Each entity will receive the opportunity that each needs. This information source, beingness, does not have uses in the life experience complex of each of those among your people who seek. Thus, the advertisement is general and not designed to indicate the searching out of any particular material, but only to suggest the noumenal aspect of the illusion. Question. You said that some of the landings at this time were of the Orion group. Why did the Orion group land here? What is their purpose? I am raw. Their purpose is conquest, unlike those of the Confederation who wait for the calling. The so-called Orion group calls itself to conquest. As we have said previously, their objective is to locate certain mind-body-spirit complexes which vibrate in resonance with their own vibrational complex, then to enslave the un-elite, as you may call those who are not of the Orion vibration. Question. Was the landing at Pascagoula in 1973 when Charlie Hickson was taken upon this type of landing? I am raw. The landing of which you speak was what you would call an anomaly. It was neither the Orion influence nor our people in thought form, but rather a planetary entity of your own vibration which came through quarantine in all innocence in a random landing. Question. What did they do to Charlie Hickson when they took him on board? I am raw. They used his mind-body-spirit complex life experience, concentrating upon the experience of the complexes of what you call war. Question. How did they use them? I am raw. The use of experience is to learn. Consider a race who watches a movie. It experiences a story and identifies with the feeling, perception, and experience of the hero. Question. Was Charlie Hickson originally of the same society memory complex of the ones who picked him up? I am raw. This entity of the vibratory sound complex did not have a connection with those who used him. Question. Did those who used him use his war experiences to learn more of the law of one? I am raw. This is correct. Question. Did the entities who picked him up have the normal configuration? His description of them was rather unusual. I am raw. The configuration of their beings is their normal configuration. The unusualness is not remarkable. We ourselves, when we choose a mission among your people, need to study your people, for had we arrived in no other form than our own, we would have been perceived as light. Question. What density were the entities who picked up Charlie Hickson from? I am raw. The entities in whom you show such interest are third density beings of a fairly advanced order. We should express the understanding to you that these entities would not have used the mind-body-spirit complex, Charlie, except for the resolve of this entity before incarnation to be of service. Question. What was the home or origin of the entities who picked up Charlie? I am raw. These entities are of the Sirius galaxy. Question. Would it be possible for any of us to have contact with the Confederation in a more direct way? I am raw. In observing the distortions of those who underwent this experiential sequence, we decided to gradually back off, shall I say, from direct contact in thought form. The least distortion seems to be available in mind-to-mind -mind communication. Therefore, the request to have taken aboard is not one we care to comply with. You are most valuable in your present orientation. May we ask at this time if you have a needed short query before we end the session. Question. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? I am raw. The instrument is well balanced. It is possible to make small corrections in the configuration of the spine of the instrument that it be straighter. 
continue also to continually monitor the placement and orientation of the symbols used. This particular session, the sensor is slightly off and therefore this instrument will experience a slight discomfort. Question. Is the sensor off in respect to angle or in respect to lateral displacement? I am raw. There is an approximate three degree displacement from proper perpendicularity. I am raw. I leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. And an I. Session 9, January 27, 1981. I am Ra, I greet you in love and light of our infinite creator. We communicate now. Question. The healing exercise that you gave us are of such a nature that it is best to concentrate on a particular exercise at a certain time. I would like to ask what exercise that I should concentrate on tonight. I am Ra. Again, to direct your judgment is an intrusion upon your space-time continuum distortion called future. To speak of past or present within our distortion judgment limit is acceptable. To guide rather than teach learn is not acceptable to our distortion in regards to teach learning. We instead can suggest a process whereby each chooses the first of the exercise given in order in which we gave them, which you in your discernment feel is not fully appreciated by your mind, body, spirit complex. This is the proper choice, building from the foundation, making sure the ground is good for the building. We have assessed for you the intensity of this effort in terms of energy expended. You will take this in mind and be patient, for we have not given a short or easy program of consciousness learn teaching. Question. The way that I understand the process of evolution is that our planetary population has a certain amount of time to progress. This is generally divided into three 25,000-year cycles. At the end of the 75,000 years, the planet progresses itself. What caused the situation to come about with the preciseness of that years in each cycle? I am raw. Visualize, if you will, the particular energy which, outward flowing and inward coagulating, formed the tiny realm of the creation governed by your Council of Saturn. Continue seeing the rhythm of this process. The living flow creates a rhythm which is as inevitable as one of your timepieces. Each of your planetary entities began the first cycle when the energy nexus was able in that environment to support such mind-body experiences. Thus, each of your planetary entities is on a different cyclical schedule, as you might call it. The timing of these cycles is a measurement equal to a portion of intelligent energy. This intelligent energy offers a type of clock. The cycles move as precisely as a clock strikes you an hour. Thus, the gateway from intelligent energy to intelligent infinity opens regardless of circumstance on the striking of the hour. Question. The original, first entities on this planet, what was their origin? Where were they before they were on this planet? I am Ra. The first entities upon this planet were water, fire, air, and earth. Question. Where did the people who are like us, who were the first ones here, where did they come from? From where did they evolve? I am Ra. You speak of third density experience. The first of those to come here were brought from another planet in your solar system, called by you the red planet Mars. This planet's environment became inhospitable to third density beings. The first entities, therefore, were of this race, as you may call it, manipulated somewhat by those who are guardians at that time. Question. What race is that, and how do they get from Mars to here? I am Ra. The race is a combination of mind, body, spirit complexes of those of your so-called red planet, and a careful series of genetical adjustments made by the guardians of that time. These entities arrived, or were preserved, for the experience upon your sphere, by a type of birthing which is non-reproductive, but consists of preparing genetic material for the incarnation of the mind-body-spirit complexes of those entities from the Red Planet. Question. I assume from what you are saying that the Guardians transferred the race here after the race had died from the physical as we know it on Mars. Is that correct? I am raw, and this is correct. Question. The Guardians were obviously acting within an understanding of the Law of One in doing this. Can you explain the application of the Law of One in this process? I am raw. 
The Law of One was named by those guardians as the bringing of the wisdom of the guardians in contact with the entities from the Red Planet, thus melding the social memory complex of the guardian race and the Red Planet race. It, however, took an increasing amount of distortion into the application of the Law of One from the viewpoint of other guardians, and it is from this beginning action that the quarantine of this planet was instituted, for it was felt that the free will of those of the Red Planet had been abridged. Question. Were the entities of the Red Planet following the Law of One prior to leaving the Red Planet? I am raw. The entities of the Red Planet were attempting to learn the laws of love, which form one of the primal distortions of the Law of One. However, the tendencies of these people towards bellicose actions caused such difficulties in the atmosphere and environment of the planet that it became inhospitable for third density experience before the end of its cycle. Thus, the red planet entities were unharvested and continued in your illusion to attempt to learn the law of love. Question. How long ago did this transfer occur from red planet to Earth? I am raw. In your time, this transfer occurred approximately 75,000 years ago. Question. 75,000 years ago? I am raw. That is approximately correct. Question. Were there any entities of the form that I am now, two arms, two legs, on this planet before this transfer occurred? I am Ra. There have been visitors to your sphere at various times for the last four million of your years, speaking approximately. These visitors do not affect the cycling of the planetary sphere. It was not third density in its environment until the time previously mentioned. Question. Then there were second density entities here prior to approximately 75,000 years ago. What type of entities were there? I am raw. The second density is the density of the higher plant life and animal life, which exists without the upward drive toward the infinite. These second density beings are of an octave of consciousness, just as you find various orientations of consciousness among the conscious entities of your vibration. Question. Did any of these second density entities have shapes like ours, two arms, two legs, head, and walk upright on two feet? I am raw. The two higher of the sub-vibrational levels of second density beings had the configuration of the biped as you mentioned. However, the erectile movement which you experienced was not totally affected in those beings, who were tending towards the leaning forward, barely leaving the quadruple position. Question. Where did these beings come from? Were they a product of evolution as understood by our scientists? Were they evolved from the original material of the earth that you spoke of? I am Ra. This is correct. Question. Do these beings then evolve from second density to third density? I am Ra. This is correct. Although no guarantee can be made of the number of cycles it will take an entity to learn the lessons of consciousness of self, which are the prerequisite for the transition to third density. Question. Is there any particular race of people on our planet now who are incarnated here from second density? I am Ra. There are no second density consciousness complexes here on your sphere at this time. However, there are two races which use the second density form. One is the entities from the planetary sphere you call Maldek. These entities are working their understanding complexes through a series of what you would call karmic restitution. They dwell within your deeper underground passageways and are known to you as Bigfoot. The other race is that being offered a dwelling in this density by guardians who wish to give the mind-body-spirit complexes of those who are of this density at this time appropriately engineered physical vehicles, as you would call these chemical complexes, in the event that there is what you call nuclear war. Question. I didn't understand what these vehicles or beings were for that appropriate in the event of nuclear war. I am raw. These are beings which exist as instinctual second density beings, which are being held in reserve to form what you would call a gene pool in case these body complexes are needed. These body complexes are greatly able to withstand the rigors of radiation, which the body complexes you now inhabit could not do. Question. Where are these body complexes located? I am raw. These body complexes of the second rays dwell in uninhabited deep forest. There are many in various places over the surface of your planet. Question. 
are they Bigfoot-type creatures? I am raw. This is correct, although we would not call these Bigfoot, as they are scarce and are very able to escape detection. The first race is less able to be aware of proximity of other mind-body-spirit complexes, but these beings are very able to escape due to their technological understanding before their incarnations here. These entities of the glowing eyes are those most familiar to your people. Question. Then there are two different types of Bigfoot, correct? I am Ra. This will be the final question. There are three types of Bigfoot, if you will accept that vibratory sound complex, used for three such different races of mind-body-spirit complex. The first two we have described. The third is a thought form. Question. I would like to ask if there is anything we can do to aid the instrument's comfort. I am raw. This instrument will require some adjustment of the tender portions of her body complex. The distortions are due to the energy center blockage you would call pineal. I leave you now in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai. Session 10, January 27, 1981. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Question. I think that it would clarify things for us if we went back to the time just before the transfer of souls from Maldek to see how the law of one operated with respect to this transfer and why this transfer was necessary. What happened to the people of Maldek that caused them to lose their planet? How long ago did this event occur? I am raw. The people of Maldek had a civilization somewhat similar to that of the societal complex known to you as Atlantis and that had gained much technological information and used it without care for the preservation of their sphere, following, to a majority extent, the complex of thought, ideas, and actions, which you may associate with your so-called negative polarity, or the service to self. This was, however, for the most part, couched in a sincere belief thought structure, which seemed to the perception of the mind-body complex of this sphere to be positive and of service to others. This devastation that racked their biosphere and caused its disintegration resulted from what you call war. The escalation went to the furthest extent of the technology this social complex had at its disposal in the space-time present of the then time. This time was approximately 705,000 of your years ago. The cycles had begun much, much earlier upon this sphere, due to its relative ability to support the first dimensional life forms at an earlier point in the space-time continuum of your solar system. These entities were so traumatized by this occurrence that they were in what you may call a social complex knot or tangle of fear. Some of your time passed. No one could reach them. No beings could aid them. Approximately 600,000 of your years ago, the then existing members of the Confederation were able to deploy a social memory complex and untie the knot of fear. The entities were then able to recall that they were conscious. This awareness brought them to the point upon what you would call the lower astral planes, where they could be nurtured until each mind-body-spirit complex was able to finally be healed of this trauma, to the extent that each entity was able to examine the distortions it had experienced in the previous life illusion complex. After this experience of learned teaching, the group decision was to place upon itself a type of what you may call karma alleviation. For this purpose, they came into incarnation within your planetary sphere, in what we were not acceptable human forms. This, then, they have been experiencing until the distortions of destruction are replaced by distortions toward the desire for a less distorted view and vision of service to others. Since this was the conscious decision of the great majority of those beings in the Maldek experience, the transition to this planet began approximately 500,000 of your years ago, and the type of body complex available at that time was used. Question. Was the body complex available at that time what we referred to as the ape body? I am raw. That is correct. Question. Have any of the Maldek entities transformed since then? Are they still second density now, or are some of them third density? I am raw. The consciousness of these entities has always been third density. The alleviation mechanism was designed by the placement of this consciousness in second dimensional physical chemical complexes, which are not able to be dexterous or manipulative to the extent 
which is appropriate to the working of the third density distortions of the mind complex. Question. Have any of the entities moved on now, made a graduation at the end of a cycle, and made the transition from second density bodies to third density bodies? I am raw. Many of these entities were able to remove the accumulation of what you call karma, thus being able to accept a third density cycle within a third density body. Most of those beings so succeeding have incarnated elsewhere in the creation for the succeeding cycle in third density. As this planet reached third density, some few of these entities became able to join the vibration of the sphere in third density form. There remain a few who have not yet alleviated, through the mind-body-spirit coordination of distortions, the previous actions taken by them. Therefore, they remain. Question. Are these the Bigfoot that you spoke of? I am raw. These are one type of Bigfoot. Question. Then our human race is formed of a few who originally came from Maldek, and quite a few who came from Mars. Are there entities here from other places? I am raw. There are entities experiencing your time-space continuum who have originated from many, many places, as you would call them, in the creation. For when there is a cycle change, those who must repeat then find a planetary sphere appropriate for this repetition. It is somewhat unusual for a planetary mind-body-spirit complex to contain those from many, many various loci. But this explains much, for you see, you are experiencing the third dimension occurrence with a large number of those who must repeat the cycle. The orientation thus has been difficult to unify, even with the aid of many of your teach learners. Question. When Malduk was destroyed, did the people of Malduk have the fear problems, or were some advanced enough to transfer to other planets? I am raw. In the occurrence of planetary disillusion, none escaped, for this is an action which rebounds to the social complex of the planetary complex itself. None escaped the knot or tangle. Question. Is there any danger of this happening to Earth at this time? I am raw. We feel this evaluation of your planetary mind-body-spirit complexes, so-called future, may be less than harmless. We say only the conditions of mind exist for such development of technology and such deployment. It is the distortion of the vision understanding that the mind and spirit complex of those of your people need orientation rather than the toys needing dismantlement, for are all not things that exist part of the Creator. Therefore, freely to choose is your own duty. Question. When graduation occurs at the end of a cycle, and entities are moved from one planet to another, by what means do they go to a new planet? I am raw. In the scheme of the Creator, the first step of the mind, body, spirit, totality, beingness, is to place its mind, body, spirit, complex distortion in the proper place of love light. This is done to ensure proper healing of the complex and eventual attunement with the totality beingness complex. This takes a very variable length of your time space. After this is accomplished, the experience of the cycle is dissolved and filtered until only the distillation of distortions in its pure form remains. At this time, the harvested mind, body, spirit, totality, beingness evaluates the density needs at its beingness and chooses the more appropriate new environment for either a repetition of the cycle or a moving forward into the next cycle. This is the manner of the harvesting guarded and watched over by many. Question. When the entity is moved from one planet to the next, is he moved in thought or by a vehicle? I am raw. The mind, body, spirit, totality, beingness is one with the Creator. There is no time, space distortion. Therefore, it is a matter of thinking the proper locus in the infinite array of time spaces. Question. While an entity is incarnate in this third density at this time, he may either learn unconsciously without knowing what he is learning, or he may learn after he is conscious aware that he is learning in the ways of the law of one. By the second way of learning consciously, it is possible for the entity to greatly accelerate his growth. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. Question. Then although many entities are not consciously aware of it, 
What they really desire is to accelerate their growth, and it is their job to discover this while they are incarnate. Is it correct that they can accelerate their growth much more while in the third density than in between incarnations of this density? I am Ra. This is correct. We shall attempt to seek a speak upon this concept. The law of one has as one of its primal distortions the free will distortion. Thus each entity is free to accept, reject, or ignore the mind-body-spirit complexes about it and ignore the creation itself. There are many among you socially memory complex distortions who at this time space engage daily, as you would put it, in the working upon the law of one, in one of its primal distortions, that is, the ways of love. However, if this same entity, being biased from the depth of its mind, body, spirit complex towards love light, were then to accept the responsibility for each moment of the time-space accumulation of present moments available to it, such an entity could empower its progress in much the same way as we describe the empowering of the call of your social complex distortion to the Confederation. Question. Could you state this in a little different way? How you empower this call? I am Ra. We understand you to speak now of our previous information. The call begins with one. This call is equal to infinity and is not, as you would say, counted. It is the cornerstone. The second call is added. The third call empowers or doubles the second, and so forth. Each additional calling doubling or granting power to all the preceding calls. Thus the call of many of your people is many, many powered and overwhelmingly heard to the infinite reaches of the one creation. Question. For the general development of the reader of this book, could you state some of the practices or exercise to perform to produce an acceleration toward the law of one? I am raw. Exercise 1. This is the most nearly centered and usable within your illusion complex. The moment contains love. That is the lesson goal of this illusion or density. The exercise is to consciously see that love in awareness and understanding distortions. The first attempt is the cornerstone. Upon this choosing rests the remainder of the life experience of an entity. The second seeking of love within the moment begins the addition. The third seeking empowers the second. The fourth powering or doubling the third. As with the previous type of empowerment, there will be some loss of power due to flaws within the seeking in the distortion of insincerity. However, the conscious statement of self to self of the desire to seek love is so central an act of will that as before, the loss of power due to this friction is inconsequential. Exercise 2. The universe is one being. When a mind-body-spirit complex views another mind-body-spirit complex, see the Creator. This is a helpful exercise. Exercise 3. Gaze within a mirror. See the Creator. Exercise 4. Gaze at the creation, which lies about the mind-body-spirit complex of each entity. See the Creator. The foundation or prerequisite of these exercises is a predilection towards what may be called meditation, contemplation, or prayer. With this attitude, these exercises can be processed. Without it, the data will not sink down into the roots of the tree of the mind, thus enabling and ennobling the body and touching the spirit. Question. I was wondering about the advent of the civilizations of Atlantis and Lemuria. When these civilizations occurred and where did they come from? I am raw. This is the last question of this working. The civilizations of Atlantis and Lemuria were not one but two. Let us look first at the Mu entities. They were beings of a somewhat primitive nature, but those who had a very advanced spiritual distortion. The civilization was part of this cycle, experienced early within the cycle of a time and approximate 53,000 of years ago. It was a helpful and harmless place which was washed beneath the ocean during a readjustment of your sphere's tectonic plates through no action of their own. They sent out those who survived and reached many places in what you call Russia, North America, and South America. 
The Indians of whom you come to feel some sympathy in your social complex distortions are the descendants of these entities. Like the other incarnations of this cycle, they came from elsewhere. However, these particular entities were largely from a second-density planet which had some difficulty, due to the age of its sun, in achieving third-density life conditions. This planet was from the galaxy Deneb. The Atlantean race was a very conglomerate social complex, which began to form approximately 31,000 years in the past of your space-time continuum illusion. It was a slow-growing and very agrarian one until approximately 15,000 of your years ago. It reached quickly a high technological understanding which caused it to be able to use intelligent infinity in an informative manner. We may add that they used intelligent energy as well, manipulating greatly the natural influxes of the indigo or pineal ray from divine or infinite energy. Thus they were able to create life forms. This they began to do instead of healing and perfecting their own mind, body, spirit complexes, turning their distortions towards what you may call negative. Approximately 11,000 of your years ago, the first of the what you call wars caused approximately 40% of this population to leave the density by means of disintegration of the body. The second and most devastating of the conflicts occurred approximately 10,821 years in the past, according to your illusion. This created an earth-changing configuration, and the large part of Atlantis was no more having been inundated. Three of the positively oriented of the Atlantean groups left this geographical locus before the devastation, placing themselves in the mountain areas of what you call Tibet, what you call Peru, and what you call Turkey. Do you have any brief questions before we close the meeting? Only one. Other than what we can do to make the instrument more comfortable, I would like to have your definition of galaxy, the word galaxy as you have used it. I am Ra. We use the term known to your people by the sound vibration galaxy. We accept that some galaxies contain one system of planetary and solar groups. Others contain several. However, the importance of the locus in infinite time-space dimensionality is so little that we accept the distortion implicit in such an ambiguous term. Question. Then the nine planets and sun which we have here in our system, would you refer to that as a galaxy? Ra, we would not. Question. How many stars would be approximately in a galaxy? Ra, it depends upon the galactic system. Your own, as you know, contains many, many millions of planetary entities and star bodies. Question. I was trying to get the definition that you were using for galaxy. You mentioned a couple of times the term galaxy in reference to what we call a planetary system, and it was causing some confusion. Is there any way that we can make the instrument more comfortable? Ra, this instrument could be made more comfortable if more support were given the body complex. Other than this, we can only repeat the request to carefully align the symbols used to facilitate this instrument's balance. Our contact is narrow-banded, and thus the influx brought in with us must be precise. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and peace of the one Creator, Adonai. Session 11, January 28, 1981 I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the infinite Creator I communicate now. Question. Should we include the ritual that you have suggested that we use to call you in the book that will result from these sessions? I am Ra. This matter is of small importance for our suggestion was made for the purpose of establishing contact through this instrument with this group. Question. Is it of any assistance to the instrument to have name and name present during these sessions? Does the number in the group make any difference in the session? I am raw. The most important of the entities are the questioner and the vibratory sound complex. The two entities additional aid the instrument's comfort by energizing the instrument with their abilities to share the physical energy complex, which is a portion of the love vibration. Question. You said yesterday that Maldek was destroyed due to warfare. If Maldek hadn't destroyed itself due to warfare, would it have been a planet that evolved in self-service, and would the entities involved have increased in density? 
and gone on to say the fourth density in the negative sense or the sense of self-service. I am Ra. The planetary social memory complex Maldek had in common with your own sphere the situation of a mixture of energy direction. Thus it, though unknown, would most probably have been a mixed harvest. A few moving to fourth density, a few moving towards fourth density in service to self, the great majority repeating third density. This is approximate due to the fact that parallel possibility, probability, vortices cease when action occurs, and new probability, possibility, vortices are begun. Question. Is there a planet opposite our sun, in relation to us, that we do not know about? I am raw. There is a sphere in the area opposite your sun of a very, very cold nature, but large enough to skew certain statistical figures. This sphere should not properly be called a planet, as it is locked in first density. Question. You say that entities from Maldek might go to fourth density negative. Are there people who go out of our present third density to places in the universe and serve, which are fourth density, self-service, negative type of planets? I am raw. Your question is unclear. Please restate. Question. As our cycle ends and graduation occurs, Is it possible for anyone to go from our third density to a fourth density planet that is of a self-service or negative type? I am raw. We grasp now the specificity of your query. In this harvest, the probability or possibility vortex is in a harvest, though small of this type, that is correct. Question. Can you tell us what happened to Adolf Hitler? I am raw. The mind-body-spirit complex, known as Adolf, is at this time in a healing process, in the middle astral planes of your spherical force field. This entity was greatly confused, and although aware of the circumstance of change in vibratory level, associated with that cessation of the chemical body complex, nevertheless needed a great deal of care. Question. Is there anyone in our history who is commonly known who went to a fourth density, self-service, or negative type of planet, or any who will go there. I am raw. The number of entities thus harvested is small. However, a few have penetrated the eighth level, which is only available from the opening up of the seventh through the sixth. Penetration into the eighth, or intelligent infinity level, allows a mind-body-spirit complex to be harvested, if it wishes at any time, space during that cycle. Question. Are any of these people known in the history of our planet by name? I am Ra. We will mention a few. The one known as Taurus Bulba. The one known as Genghis Khan. The one known as Rasputin. Question. How did they accomplish this? What was necessary for them to accomplish this? I am Ra. All the aforementioned entities were aware through memory of Atlantean understanding having to do with the use of the various centers of mind, body-spirit complex energy influx in attaining the gateway to intelligent infinity. Question. Did this enable them to do what we refer to as magic? Could they do paranormal things while they were incarnate? I am Ra. That is correct. The first two entities mentioned made little use of these abilities consciously. However, they were bent single-mindedly upon service to self, sparing no efforts in personal discipline to double, redouble, and so empower this gateway. The third was a conscious adept, and also spared no effort in the pursuit of service to self. Question. Where are these three entities now? I am raw. These entities are in the dimensions known to you as fourth. Therefore, the space-time continua are not compatible. An approximation of the space-time locus at each would not know actual understanding. Each chose a fourth-density planet, which was dedicated to the pursuit of the understanding of the Law of One through service to self, one in what you know as the Orion Group, one in what you know as Cassiopeia, one in what you know as the Southern Cross. However, these loci are not satisfactory. We do not have vocabulary for the geometric calculations necessary for transfer of this understanding to you. Question. Who went to the Orion group? I am Ra, the one known as Genghis Khan. Question. What does he presently do there? What is his job or occupation? 
I am Ra. This entity serves the Creator in its own way. Question. Is it impossible for you to tell us precisely how he does this service? I am Ra. It is possible for us to speak to this query. However, we use any chance we may have to reiterate the basic understanding learning that all beings serve the Creator. The one you speak of as Genghis Khan at present is incarnate in a physical light body which has the work of disseminating material of thought control to those who are what you may call crusaders. He is, as you would term this entity, a shipping clerk. Question. What do the crusaders do? I am raw. The crusaders move in their chariots to conquer planetary, mind, body, spirit, social complexes before they reach the stage of achieving social memory. Question. At what stage does a planet achieve social memory? I am raw. A mind, body, spirit, social complex becomes a social memory complex when its entire group of entities are of one orientation or seeking. The group memory lost to the individuals in the roots of the tree of mind then become known to the social complex, thus creating a social memory complex. The advantages of this complex are the relative lack of distortion in understanding the social beingness and the relative lack of distortions in pursuing the direction of seeking. For all understanding, distortions are available to the entities of the society. Question. Then we have crusaders from Orion coming to this planet for mind control purposes. How do they do this? I am raw. As all, they follow the law of one observing free will. Contact is made with those who call. Those then upon the planetary sphere act much as they do to disseminate the attitudes and philosophy of their particular understanding of the law of one, which is to service to self. These become the elite. Through these, the attempt begins to create a condition whereby the remainder of the planetary entities are enslaved by their free will. Question. Can you name any names that may be known on the planet that are recipients of the Crusaders' efforts? I am raw. I am desirous of being in non-violation of the free will distortion. To name those involved in the future of your space-time is to infringe. Thus we withhold this information. We request your contemplation of the fruits of the action of those entities whom you may observe of join the distortion towards power. In this way you may discern for yourself this information. We shall not interfere with the, shall we say, planetary game. It is not central to the harvest. Question. How do the Crusaders pass on their concepts to the individuals on Earth? I am raw. There are two main ways. Just as there are two main ways of, shall we say, polarizing towards service to others. There are those mind, body, spirit complexes upon your plane who do exercise and perform disciplines in order to seek contact with sources of information and power leading to the opening of the gate to intelligent infinity. There are others whose vibratory complex is such that this gateway is opened and contact with total service to self with its primal distortions of manipulating of others is then afforded with little or no difficulty, no training, and no control. Question. What type of information is passed on from the Crusaders to these people? I am raw. The Orion group passes on information concerning the Law of One with the orientation of service to self. The information can become technical, just as some in the Confederation, in attempts to aid this planet in service to others, have provided what you would call technical information. The technology provided by this group is in the form of various means of control or manipulation of others to serve the self. Question. Do you mean to say that some scientist received technical information, shall we say, telepathically, that comes out then as usable gadgetry? I am wrong. This is correct. However, every positively, as you would call this distortion, oriented scientist have received information intended to unlock peaceful means of progress, which redounded onto the last echoes of potential destruction due to further reception of other scientists of a negative orientation distortion. Question. Is this how we learned of nuclear energy? Was it mixed with both positive and negative orientation? I am raw. This is correct. The entities responsible for the gathering of the scientists were of a mixed orientation. 
the scientists were overwhelmingly positive in their orientation. The scientists who followed their work were of mixed orientation, including one extremely negative entity, as you would term it. Question. Is this extremely negative entity still incarnate on Earth? Ra, I am. This is correct. Question. Then I would assume that you can't name him. So I will ask you where Nikola Tesla got his information. I am Ra. The one known as Nikola received information from Confederation sources, desirous of aiding this extremely, shall we say, angelically positive entity, in bettering the existence of its fellow mind-body-spirit complexes. It is unfortunate, shall we say, that like many wanders, the vibratory distortions of third-density illusion cause this entity become extremely distorted in its perception of its fellow mind-body-spirit complexes, so that its mission was hindered and in the result perverted from its purpose. Question. How was Tesla's work supposed to benefit man on Earth, and what were its purposes? I am Ra. The most desired purpose of the mind-body-spirit complex, Nikola, was the freeing of all planetary entities from the darkness. Thus it attempted to give to the planet the infinite energy of the planetary spheres for use in lighting and power. Question. By freeing the planetary entities from darkness, precisely what do you mean? I am Ra. Most of the following answers were lost due to tape-recorded malfunctions. The core of the response was as follows. We spoke of freeing people from darkness in a literal sense. Question. Would this freeing from darkness be commensurate with the law of one, or does this have any real product? I am Ra. The product of such a freeing would create two experiences. Firstly, the experience of no need to find the necessary emollient for payment in your money for energy. Second, the leisure afforded, thereby exemplifying the possibility and enhancing of the probability of the freedom to then search the self, the beginning of seeking the law of one. Few there are working physically from daybreak to darkness, as you name them, upon your plane who can contemplate the law of one in a conscious fashion. Question. What about the Industrial Revolution in general? Was this planned in any way? I am raw. This will be the final question of the session. That is correct. Wanders incarnated in several waves, as you may call them, in order to bring into existence the gradual freeing from the demands of the diurnal cycles and lack of freedom of leisure. Question. That was the last question, so I will do as usual and ask if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable. Ra, you are doing well. The most important thing is to carefully align the symbols. The adjustments made this particular time-space present will aid this instrument, physical complex, and distortion toward comfort. May we ask if you have a short question which we may resolve before closing the session? Question. I don't know if this is a short question or not, so we can save it till next time. But my question is, why do the Crusaders from the Orion do this? What is their ultimate objective? This is probably too long an answer. I am raw. This is not too long of an answer. To serve the self is to serve all. The service of the self, when seen in this perspective, requires an ever-expanding use of the energies of others for manipulation to the benefit of the self with distortion towards power. If there are further queries to further ex explicate this subject, we shall be here with you again. Question. There was one thing that I forgot. Is it possible to have another session later on today? I am raw. It is well. Question. Thank you. I leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai.